Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. So continuing with the theme of looking at the talents which are attached to artifact weapons, I kind of hesitate there before I say weapons because I've done Warlock so far. Um, this video, uh, plot twist. Instead of going to another class straight away, I'm actually going to deal with something rather unique because... You're going to be able to find an artifact fishing rod called the Underlight Angler. And this will have its own trait tree, just like any of the weapons that the other classes are going to get. Uh, so in this video, we're going to have a look at these traits, see if there's anything really kind of interesting there. I've had a little look. And there are a couple of things which do kind of stand out, which is rather cool. As well as, you know, standard fishing-y kind of a stuff. So as ever, with your artifact weapons, you're going to start at the spell which has the big golden circle surrounding it. And this one immediately gives you undercurrent, uh, which will teleport you to the nearest fishing node. Now this is quite an interesting way of getting around as well. Because it can't really be abused that much, can it? Because if you teleported yourself to the nearest fishing node, remember this is not a random fishing node, this is the nearest uh, fishing node, so you can never stray too far with a teleport. If you got there and thought, ha 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 ha, I'm going to use it again and teleport somewhere else, just fragment sake, because it's not showing a cooldown, if you used it again, it would just say, yeah, yeah, it's just teleporting you right to the one that you're at. It's right in front of you, dude. So you have to use up that node before you can use the um, undercurrent spell to take you elsewhere. Uh, so, yeah, quite an interesting way. It doesn't look like it can get abused too much. Uh, and, of course, if the whole plan is to fish, then there's nothing wrong with teleporting, fishing, teleporting, fishing, da-da-da. Uh, so let's fill that one in. Let's go round the back. Ladies, uh, and just go up to this one the rune scale koi angling. So, this increases the chance to catch rune scale koi in the open waters of Suramar. So, the open waters, I take it, are the coasts. Uh, coast areas opposed to the uh, the pools and the rivers and the lakes which are internal because they'd be closed waters wouldn't they lakes and ponds and rivers and such uh, well not necessarily rivers rivers can go into the open but you get the drift um so you can stick three points in there obviously it will affect the the chance but that if we go down will take us to our first goldeny dragon uh, one which is blood fishing grants a chance to catch blood of Sargeras when fishing in the Broken Isles. Now I imagine that the blood of Sargeras is going to be a crafting material, uh, kind of like what we have at the moment, because uh, it potentially sounds like it could be used in any profession. So this sounds like another way of being able to get one. I, I assume we'll still have the standard of stuff as well. Uh, herbing and, and mining and stuff like that would, would likely get it uh, as well as probably other ways which Blizzard will find. But yeah, there we go. Uh, scooch down, we get the Black Barracuda uh, angling. Increases the chance to catch Black Barracuda in the, op in the open oceanic waters of the Broken Isles. Okay, so these are different locations then, aren't they? So we've got the open oceanic waters is there the koi angling was in the open waters of suramar uh, so that takes us back to the beginning let's go down uh, the cursed queenfish angling increases the chance to catch cursed queenfish in the open waters of azuna so yeah it's, it's dealing with each zone individually if we go across though we get surface tension walk on water uh so we're gonna go all jesus here and uh, have the ability to walk on water that's very useful for a fisherman uh remember in mists of pandaria a, a way to kind of help people that like to fish um and where there were multiple fishing pools in a, an enclosed area was actually to bring in the raft Remember the raft? Uh, so you could get on the raft and move into those uh, closed waters and just jump uh, between the, the various pools which might be in the lake or the pool or wherever. Uh, this, if you haven't got the time or inclination to get the raft, is just going to allow you to walk on water and literally run uh, across the lake to the, uh, to the next pond. To the next fishing pool, I should say. And then we go across to the second of the three golden dragon abilities, Fishbane. 
increases auto attack damage done to aquatic beasts by X percent. It doesn't state the percentage. Um, okay. <laughs> Are we actually fighting fish? <laughs> Are fish actually going to come out of the water and scrap with us? Don't quite know what that's all about. Or well, people are going to run around with fishing rods as weapons. Never mind. Let's move up. Uh, fish renders blessing. Become a fish when underwater, allowing you to breathe water. Uh, okay. And swim rapidly. Fine. So you're going to be able to, to breathe underwater, swim really quickly, and look like a fish. Uh, which is rather cool. Do you have to surface, though, to be able to fish again? Or can you get your fishing rod out when you're a fish? That kind of sounds very fish -ception, uh to me. Uh, but let's move up to the top here. Better luck next time. Grants a chance to catch boots when fishing in the Broken Isles. Now, this is quite intriguing because, sure, you can fish up some trash boots. But what if you could fish up some regular boots? Or what if you could fish up some rare boots? Or epic boots? Or legendary boots remember there is an absolute ton of legendary items in uh legion coming in legion i think boots are one of them so is this a potential avenue to maybe get hold of some legendary boots Ooh, that'd be quite interesting if it is uh go across the top to finish off here storm ray angling increases the chance to catch storm rays in the open waters of Stormheim. Uh, the other one, if we jump down there, high mountain salmon angling increases the chance to catch high mountain salmon in the open waters of high mountain. And that goes up to three points. Move across here. Look at this. This is currently saying goes up to 50 points. Holy cow. Increases the duration of Legion lures and baits by X seconds per rank. So if we put one point in, two points in, so if we put 50 points in here, would we actually increase the duration of Legion lures and baits by 50 seconds? Holy cow. Uh, or are they going to put like a base uh, a base time before they go anywhere? But okay, you know, it's just nothing major. But look, you know, when you see 50, you kind of get a little bit overwhelmed. Never mind. And then finally, we've got the Moss Gill Perch Angling. Increases chance to catch Moss Gill Perch in the open waters of Val Sharar. Uh, so it's pretty weird, but pretty interesting to see uh, that fishing has its own artifact weapon. Um, kind of makes me really wish that uh, mining would have a, an artifact pickaxe now that they've gone down this route. Um, because I could see some really cool potential with an artifact uh, pickaxe, you know, to find treasures or gems and things like that with having these things. I, I don't know, maybe we should put that suggestion forward to, to Blizzard in the feedback section. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Let me know about that one. But yeah, it just, look, it breaks up fishing. It makes it a little bit more interesting. There's a couple of cool traits on there as well, which help you out with the teleportation, the walk and water, the catching of the boots, uh, which has potential to lead to, to who knows what to, to, to fish up. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links are in the description down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. Before I do go, another big thank you to MMO Champ for allowing me to use their systems. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.